how do I get my hair to revert back curly? You need to cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it. that you have heat damage from heat styling, um, um, let me rephrase that because I love heat styling. Most of our clients that are natural, they love to get a blowout and a flat iron, right? Some people call that a silky, a silk press, whatever. Um, everybody loves to have beautiful hair that they can wear however they want without judgment. Um, that's what we do with hair rules. But heat damage. Um, I don't do heat damage. But think about it. Most hairdressers aren't interested in your natural texture. You haven't quite figured or cracked the code on a regimen that's specific to your hair texture um, or you're straightening it more than or in between that your hairdresser straightened it. And you've got dried out hair, you wanna switch it up, go get your hair straightened. And you're blowing in the wind and a week later, your hair won't go back. On top of the fact that you might have multiple textures on one head, so it might be looser in front naturally and a little tighter in back or kinkier hair, and so your, your straight air or your looser, curlier areas um, get uh, inundated with as much heat as the back does. And so, so people, we have to understand a, a, a regimen that's specific to your texture. And there is one for your texture. Um, and the texture spectrum will help you to kind of gauge what that is um, because you have tighter textures and you have looser textures. But the point, report, point remains that what happens, how you revert back to curly hair is by cutting it off. There's nothing that will take it back. Um, you can do some twist outs. Every, it just, it's too complicated. If you've ruined your natural texture, um, through heat damage. And that doesn't mean that the uh, traditional heat damage, right, like that, that comes from making the hair, over processing it from heat or, or chemicals. It means that your natural kinky texture or curly texture has been either not cared for properly before you did high heat styling and you did too much heat styling. Um, one heat styling session should do the trick. You don't need to flat iron your hair through the week. Um, and if you do, you run the risk of getting heat damage. Um, if you're not doing a lot of uh, wash and go styling, um, before you get your heat style or your uh, blowout and flat iron, um, then you're gonna get heat, you're gonna get heat damage. If you, I say, a lot of times I say, you know, sleep with a conditioner under, um, if it's convenient to sleep under um, at night with a cap on, with some conditioner um, so that you have soft moisturized hair before you go to the hairstylist to get your hair blow dry or you're blow drying it yourself with a comb attachment only um, and then flat iron. Um, then you can prep your hair. Doing three days of wash and go styling before you get heat styling done prevents heat damage. It's making sure the beauty of natural hair is that if you can figure out through this whole grading system, which is how I like to um, teach women, because you all have different textures and what's good for one texture has nothing to do with another texture, um, is where you start to learn what the regimen is more specific to your texture and how you keep that texture soft and moisturized. And so that enables you to be able to do heat styling without heat damage. So again, I don't have too many tricks they say olaplex works but didn't work for me um there are a few treatments that you can do guess what they are wash and go styling um and then gradually cutting some of those straight pieces off and will get your hair back moisturized so it starts to curl up some more but uh, to the degree of heat damage that you have it's hard to know because you're not in front of me but um you cannot revert heat damage back. Sorry.